can't control it. Now he's still got the ball in front of him, still playing the ball along in front of him, and uh, he's going to go close to the boundary. He's got it eventually, and gets it away to Newman. Finds Newman on the chest at the half forward flank. Very successful debut in league football in South Australia, Noonan, this year. His long kick has gone right down. Oh, back. Beautiful mark for Backshaw. <laughs> well, he got it. What a mark, mark that. He had his eyes on the ball from about 15 yards away. Never took his eyes off the ball, and he goes right in front of the pack and taken the mark. It'll be the first score on the board. It's not a good one. It's through for one point only. The chance gone begging up. Knocked away from him. Oh, Noonan took a hard bump, then went to ground, got kicked while he was on the ground. Yeah, you were stood on, I think. Uh, the uh, Richmond players definitely going in very, very hard. They're tackling well. Put up, knocked away from him. Oh, Noonan took a hard bump, then went to ground, got kicked while he was on the ground. Yeah, he was... Big centre-half back. Outpointed hard on that occasion. Oh, that surely should be a 15-yard. Brown intercepted from the side. It's not called. Play on's called. Kicked up to the centre of the ground. And here's Barrett, who's winning centre, hands down against Bobby Shearman at this stage. Oh, look at the kick. It'll go right to the square. Jarrett and Moore, and it's a good, good mark. Richmond mark. But I didn't pick him, big fella there again. For Ronaldson. Ronaldson again. Well, Billy Goggin tells us he's unreliable, but he'd want to be pretty unreliable to miss it from <laughs> there. Three yards from the white line, should belt it right through the middle. He's done just that. And, uh, to ground, almost to ground as Bowden comes through with the ball. Gets it over to a teammate. He's at the centre of uh, the... Uh, Forward pocket shooting it across the face of goals. Jarrett's there, but oh, 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 more a beautiful mark. That was Kevin Bartlett who kicked the ball over to him. Yes, and was a beauty too. And he lined those goals up. He was having a shot at the goal, but that was a good mark by Moore on that occasion. Right over the top. He's giving away six inches. He comes round on the mark and he shot as missed and gone through for one point. That was a good Green. Green picking up on Hicks, but Hicks gets the pass across to his teammate at Ottens. First time we've called him today. Gets the boot right up in the air, the ball right up in the air. Players running for it. Shearman marks well. At the end of the cricket pitch. Shearman. Immediately looking for a lead. Roger Rigney's down there. Rigney's going to be underneath the ball. Greenslade's coming in from behind. Too late, though. But Rigney come racing around in front of the back. Tries to pick it up. Does do so. Shoots it over his shoulder, and he could be the first one. It is. Good goal, Roger Rigney. He's the sort of player that tackling won't make any difference to. Having the ball down to the half-forward line. Jarrett's in from behind and goes away for the punch. Comes off. Oh, comes off the Ooh. face of another player, too, there in Hadcock. And the mark has been, the kick has been given to Roger Dean. Wally May. I didn't even see it. I can't, couldn't tell you what the free kick was for. Bill Goggin. I was following the ball also. Yeah. I, th I never really played it in the back or not, no, but no. I think it was a very technical free it kick. It was a stage and he got away with it. That was the story. I was watching it. There's a goal, a goal. As a consequence, it was a depth to Bagshaw. He was left sitting under the ball. Richmond player Burke bustles through, kicks to the full forward position through the hands of Bergen. Tapped on by Ronaldson, trying to knock it towards the goals. Adcock went without the ball. Brown snaps towards the goal, and it may have just hit the goal post. Incidentally, Hicks is having a dreadful trouble behind the players. It's <laughs> kicked down to the full forward position through the hands oh. of Jarrett. Off hands, it comes to Brown, and he'll have 2-2 on the board. <laughs> He drives the ball over towards Rigney, and Rigney marks between centre and the centre wing position. Rigney would be as good a player as Sturt and have at this stage because he's showing a lot of guts around the field, and uh, unfortunately this quality has been missing in one or two of the Sturt stars, as was evidenced a few seconds back. There's uh, Rigney's kick from centre wing, right down to the forward pocket. Endersby from behind gets the double grab at it. The Richmond player was inclined to think it came off hands. Bill Goggin, what did I you think? I felt it came off the Richmond's hands too. Yeah, I did too. I felt that the Sturt player was waiting behind, and... The second grab was his. Endersby would be 35, 40 yards from goal. No more. 45 degree angle. Shooting the cathedral end. Sturt need goals and need them quickly. His kick might just make the distance at one point. Half back line of Richmond are forcing it back up onto Richmond's forward line. Bruce Jarrett's getting close to the boundary line with that kick and it's come down almost into the hands there of Brooks but the ball in the meantime has been swept over the line and out of bounds. Added more for Again, Barrett, he's everywhere at the moment. Shoots it down to the full forward position. Grabbed off hands here by Adcock who'll go for a run. He'd want to kick it. He's running into trouble. Eventually gets his kick up towards centre wing from the back of the pack. Big Otten sword, couldn't pull it down. Bagshaw's got the ball, a handball out, Hicks has got it in his sights, gets it, handball across, finds Endersby, Endersby to Schoff, Schoff was set up, Schoff gets it on to uh, Shearman, Shearman's got a player coming at him, gets a hurried kick, off hands it'll come to Tilbrook, he tried to shepherd for Wild, misunderstanding oh. that Tilbrook snaps, it'll be a throw in in the left full forward pocket. One second by the skipper of the side, Roger Dean. 
Roger Brigney in opposition as the kick has gone. Punched away from uh, Billy Barrett by uh, Brooks, but it's been paid to Barrett. The crowd not happy with that one. Well, he was interfered with it. He was the only one going for the ball, and... Uh and Brooks definitely pushed him over. He might have made it look a bit worse than it was, but uh, a beautiful drop kicks on its way, and against the breeze, I think it's through for a goal. And that's a beauty. From centre-half forward, into the breeze, goes 55 yards, and his second goal's on the board. I wouldn't like... Taken by Hicks. Hicks goes down to the half-forward line and marked by Greenslade, who, as Wally May has told you, has gone to centre-half forward. They're working without a full forward, and they brought all the players up the ground while they're kicking against the breeze. Here's the kick into the forward pocket, and marked by Tilbrook. It's the first time we've seen Tilbrook, a beautiful pass from Greenslade. Generally, Tilbrook passing into Greenslade, the opposite on this occasion, and Tilbrook in the forward pocket with every chance to put it through. Only 30 yards out, shoots. He's, He's got that. a goal. He's found that player Bond, and he kicks away up to the centre of the oh. ground. Schoff tried to spoil when he was in the position to mark. It comes to Bartlett. This will be trouble. He'll draw the man. Thought he would have hand passed over, didn't, went for the long kick. Down to full forward, through the hands of the full forward in Moore, and across for a behind. Players are going on with it, but uh, the umpire, the field umpire, hasn't seen the goal umpire signalling to him. Players gone on, eventually he caught it. One more behind to Richmond, takes him to 12 goals, 18, leading skirt, four goals, two. Goal umpire, looked a little bit over the line to me, but anyway, Sherman's kick, all too much height. But a lot of height. Backshaw from behind. Thought he could take down one of the prodigious ones, I but it's Royce Hart. Royce Hart, Royce Hart a good mark. He was in front and for mine was the only one to control the ball. Everybody else. And Green. Endersby. Good snap. goal. Six points. Good goal, Endersby. As Apai gets the tap down, Endersby's having a bit of fun with Billy Barrett at the moment as Barrett goes up on the bad end of it. The kick in the meantime has gone across to Roger Rigney at the centre half forward position. Rigney going on, playing on with the game straight away, looking down, looking for Shearman. Shearman's in position. Can he mark the ball? It's a chance for Chesler, who has picked it up, handballs to Greenslade, and it's through. 